Welcome to New Hampshire. And there we are. New Hampshire. Live free or die. got a really good deal on a Fairfield Inn. They are really nice. We've stayed in them before and we're excited we can get one that doesn't break the bank. And yeah, so if you've never been to one, I highly recommend them. They're all awesome. And the bathrooms are always fantastic. Can't go wrong at all. Usually have nice walk-in showers. Very nice pressure. And a nice tile. And here is the king size bed. And they're always super comfy. I mean, just some of the bed, best beds out there. Get the little nightstand on each side. I also have this, I love these um, little USB chargers and uh, really, really good. Got a nice little desk area here. Always a great big 50 inch TV. Nice big closet, extra pillow, some hangers, just the basic stuff in there. And of course we got a refrigerator. Yeah, good. And microwave, ice bucket. We stayed here at the Fairfield in North Conway, and it's also a, a ski, ski resort. And that's the Ski Mobile. Hmm. Looks fun. Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah, they even have a, a chairlift over there for a seating bench. I don't know if you can see that here. Let me oh, see I front. see it. See it over there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So on this trip, we've seen a lot of covered bridges, but nothing quite like this one. So we're here in Bartlett, New Hampshire, and we're here at the Cover Bridge gift shop. Yeah, so they bypassed the old bridge with a new one, but at one time, this is how you, you, you cross the river here. And uh, absolutely love it. Oh, I love the the planks, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this here. Yeah, this, is awesome. yeah, this is awesome. Oh yeah, the soothing river here. And we've been looking for Bigfoot. We haven't found them. We haven't found moose yet. We did see a bear up in Canada. We did see a bear. In fact, speaking of Canada, there's the Canadian flag. Yeah. And there's the little gift shop right in the center. Oh my gosh, look at these little ornaments. They're little covered bridges. Yeah. We love covered bridges, don't we? And they have all kinds of great gifts. <laughs> oh, these these here look warm, Don. Little moose on them. Yeah. yeah, they got some some pajamas with a crazy moose. <laughs> and here's one for all you Patriot fans out there. That's been mooseified. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in Patriot country, Don. We are, look at, wow, Christmas, and it's pretty, yeah, even, even Bigfoot, and Smokey. Yeah, 
New Hampshire, live free or die. Yeah, all kinds of Bartlett, 1790. Yeah, so we stayed in North Conway last night. We head back out here to this bridge because it was getting kind of late. And we're going to work our way back to North Conway. A lot of great things there. This, look, this looks fluffy. <laughs> Cozy. That is probably one of the coolest gift shops we've been in a long time. You know, they had just the right stuff in there. Very unique. Um, they had these little covered bridge handmade ornaments, which I really was thinking about. But Dawn's like, we got a lot of stuff, you know? But we did get a New Hampshire pin. A New Hampshire pin. We did get a, a pin for the map. And uh, guys, folks, if you are here in the North Conway area, check out, oh, there's a bee. Check out the covered, that there bee is. loves, told you I'm like, I'm like a flower. <laughs> ah, okay. Look at this, Jackson, New Hampshire. Oh, wow. I I'm like, like this. Yes. This well, is very nice. Very, very nice one. There's people waiting for us to get through. We're nerding out. <laughs> Absolutely a beautiful, well-preserved covered bridge. This one's in Jackson, New Hampshire. Huh. Cover bridge number 51. Yeah, number 51 it says. I love the light up there on top. And this one here's got a pedestrian walkthrough, which makes it nice for us folks wanting to check out the bridge, right? It's a nice bridge. Oh, wow. Ah, the White Mountains are are absolutely yeah absolutely amazing they are i want to i want to spend weeks here but we only got a couple days now this bridge here has got a sprinkler system so in case it catches fire they'll be able to put it out real quick yeah and of course, someone did carve their name and it's not cool at all. Yep, there's those metal ties we always see. Jackson Cover Bridge was built in 1876. Yeah, she's an old one. That's a nice bridge, though. Oh. So this is where we are. And this is the town of, of Jackson. Of course, they got Jackson Falls, which is just up the way. And the beautiful White Mountains with Mount Washington, the highest peak. Is New Hampshire's best kept secret. Yeah, so this is Jackson, and this is the Wentworth Hotel here. Very nice Victorian homes. I think that you can rent heading up the street that way. Very, very nice mountains. You got the Jackson Community Church. And that is the coolest library. It was built in 1901. And I love the architecture, the roof. Kind of looks something like out of a fairy tale or something. Yeah, so this is a stone bridge built in 1931. It was placed on the National Register of Historic Places as part of Jackson Falls Historic District. 
And the snow must get deep here because, <laughs> well, heck, this is a Tucker snow cat. That is cute. The Tucker snow cat. Yeah, you're not going to get stuck in any snow with that. Jackson Falls. And there's another level up there we'll have to go check out. Definitely refreshing on a humid day like it is. Bridges. So we're here in North Conway and this is an amazing little tourist town and take a look at that train station Wow it is high noon and we're hoping to catch a train today, do a little scenic tour through the whites. We are first class on the Conway Scenic Railroad and we got about 10 minutes to catch it. It's a two and a half hour train ride. It's the longest one that they have, but I figured might as well, right? Uh, take a look at that, wow. Oh wow, look at this car. Yeah, it's got these little... Right here, Don. So we're seats 11 and 12 right here. Hey, you got a nice little wicker chair here. Now they did have a car with a glass roof on it, which looked really cool. But I believe they were sold out, so... I like all the woodwork. Oh my goodness, look at. It's got a nice dome and. <laughs> yeah, we're being pulled by this diesel. see what it looks like going forward and we got this window here 
and they they gave us the wrong seats. You know, there was a they overbooked our seats or the seats that we purchased. So now we're back here and and this one, yeah. Well, you wanted the open window and yeah. This is where we ended up sitting. Conway Scenic Railroad. Oh, decent little gift shop here in the uh, train station. This train station is impressive. Just amazing. And the sheer size of it. Uh, so that was a scenic train ride through the White Mountains. Conway 5 and 10. You have horse feathers. You got the soy fire candle. Beautiful, beautiful church, and there's also a Zeb's general store. I want to go check out Zeb's. Now let's head into the Conway 5 and 10. It's really oh, I like the candy counter. You see that? Yeah, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. definitely an old fashioned store. Oh, 
going wild, Dawn. Look at what it looks like in the fall time. Yeah, I think it'll be a good thing. To yes, come back. I think coming back and seeing the leaves change here. Look at the little uh, maple candies, some pure honey. Oh, just your old fashioned five and ten. They even have a slide whistle. There's a Concord stagecoach. 1850. Oh, it smells like watermelon, huh? Yeah, we are in Red Sox territory. A 1914 Model T touring car. And it was sold from Ford's in 1908 to 1927. Yeah, it's an old old Model T. Now, so let's head into into Zeb's. <laughs> Crazy little bear to meet you, huh? Oh wow, there's a lot to take in. It's a pretty pretty cool store. I love this old Coca-Cola ice chest. And they have a syrup for you. They even have a ghost pepper maple syrup. There's some New Hampshire stuff. Bob's Sugar Bob smoked maple. Yeah, when they're in shape as a <laughs> as a gingerbread cookie. Even Zeb has his own brand. You know, they, they don't play around when it comes to maple syrup around these areas. I mean it's it, it's big big time around and here maple jelly beans maple jelly beans huh yeah they even got it in a can i love these old floors a little maple <laughs> mooses oh boy if you're looking for some homemade canned goods they got that sweet and spicy garlic. Well, you've got some mustard. Pickled eggs. Yeah, they have a Detroit Jewel. Because they bake better. And I think this might be Zeb himself. Well, I think I just met Zeb over there, and he seems kind of mechanical today. Just saying. And if you love popcorn, they have that. Ooh, the blue raspberry. I love that. I've had that before. They got buffalo wing. Chocolate covered bacon. <laughs> New England berries. Kind of looks a little bit like um, Captain, Crunch. Captain Crunch. Yeah. yeah. Ma Maine maple. You even have cheddar, dill pickle, s'mores. And check out these old coolers here. And they all got all kinds of crazy flavors. They have a green bee lemon sting. Zeb, Zeb, Zeb's got his own flavors here. And they have Moxie. I think Moxie's from the area here, or got a start. Yeah, they even have Moxie t-shirts. I remember my parents going to AMP, and you, you would fill, yeah, and you would put the um, your coffee beans in the top, and it would grind. Oh, yeah, yes. That. Yeah, that's used to grind your own coffee in the store. Yeah, that's what that is. AMP was the store I remember seeing that at. Yeah, please put money in me and please don't stand on me. I'm old and and cranky. Yeah, it's a scale that you don't stand on. But but it wants to be fed, right? What were you looking at soap? Yeah, smell it. Light foot pine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this old fountain here. It's got its it's chairs it's no longer a fountain but it is it's all original look at the coca-cola globe 
Yeah, that is that is cool. It's an old old soda fountain. Huh. Oh boy, look at this candy counter here. <laughs> Every candy you can imagine. They got gummy turtles and even Lunchables. Oh, candy, candy cigarettes, Laffy Taffy, Double Bobble. Oh, rock candy. That general store was amazing. Had a lot of great stuff in there. Did you see that candy counter? Yeah, it was full. Yeah, and the place was busy. It got busier the longer we were in there. And we couldn't even really walk around. And Penny Lane's looks like a fun place. It's got that New England look. I like the chicken on the porch. You like the chicken on the porch? Oh yeah, there's a rooster up there. Our next stop is McDonald's. <laughs> Actually, they got some really cool theming on the inside of this McDonald's. We're gonna go in and take a look at the theming. Check out these seats, they're old ski lifts. <laughs> yeah, they made them into tables. And take a look at these ones, they're old gondolas. See that, you can eat inside a, a gondola, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they have skis and you ever thought you could like eat in a in a gondola? <laughs> I still like the uh these old lifts over here too. Yeah, pretty cool. We had to stop and just take a look at the unique theming at this McDonald's, right? Here's the Saco River covered bridge. This is cool too, isn't it? Yeah. The Saco River, 1890. And it's got walking paths on both sides of this one. This is another really nice one. All the bolts and... Huh. Oh wow, there's a lot of folks down there swimming and and floating down the river. <laughs> and these covered bridges, they're some of the biggest ones I've ever seen here in New Hampshire. And people can drive across them at a pretty, pretty good rate of speed too. They're not quite two lanes, about a lane and a half, so it's still one one lane traffic. So this is covered bridge number 48. This looks like a really good river to do some uh, some floating on. This one's no longer used, but still well kept. It's more of a pedestrian bridge now. And this is called the Swift River. Yeah, it's got picnic tables and everything else in here now. Swift River Bridge, 1869, and we're at the town of Conway. It's very, I love it. Now, Conway has got three or four different bridges here. Almost every town every has got a few of them, and 
Now this one here is real cool. It's hot. They built a newer bridge just over that way to replace this. A yeah. little bit of the past. So we've seen quite a few of these bridges here in New Hampshire and I hear and I hear there's hundreds more of them. There'll be no way we'll be able to see them all, but I will say some of the biggest and the most impressive covered bridges I've ever seen are right here in Vermont and New Hampshire. They have a lot of them bridges here in New Hampshire. They do. I like how they preserve, you know, their history and, you know, they could have just tore that down because the new bridge is doing what it needs to, but they keep it up and folks enjoy it. At least we do anyways.